Well, we're here on the night before the election and, and the general election in Texas and with soon to be Senator elect. Let me be one of the first people to call you that, Ted Cruz. Thank you, Bob. Thank you very much. And it's been a long road. I've been following you around the state now for a year and a half or so. And plus, back in yep. before when Fernando was running for the state rep, I saw you. Um, you've been all over this state. And what's it feel like now on the eve of this great change in Texas Republican history? Well, it has been an incredible journey. As you know, when we started out last year, I was literally at 2% in the polls. And there wasn't practically a soul in the state who gave us a prayer. We went through a $50 million primary, most expensive primary in the whole country. We were outspent three to one. And what we saw was an incredible team come together. Thousands and thousands of Republican women, of Tea Party leaders, of business leaders, of conservative activists. And because of that coalition on the ground, we went from 2% in the polls to not just winning the primary, but winning by 14 points. I mean, it was an incredible testament to the grassroots in Texas. That's what happened in the primary, and I'm hopeful and optimistic. Tomorrow on Election Day, we will see that same coalition of grassroots conservatives come out and vote, and they will lead us to victory in this race across the state and across the country. What well, we saw in July, the grassroots swelling up in massive, massive numbers to come out in the July heat and vote for you in the runoff election. And then your unselfish campaign going all over the state working with state reps, state senator candidates, grassroots level people and, and returning that back to them. I think that was an amazing tribute to you and your campaign, but to the, also to the people that put you where you are. Look, at the end of the day, anyone running for office, it's not about us. It's not about the candidates. It is about the people. And it's about turning the country around. I mean, the reason why any of us are doing this, or why we should be doing this, is because we care about the direction of our nation. And we want to ensure that the United States remains, for centuries to come, the freest and most prosperous nation on earth. As Ronald Reagan famously put it, liberty is not something that's passed down in the bloodstream. Every generation has to step forward and defend it. That's what's at stake right now. And, and I am doing everything I can to work hard, to help other conservatives, help other Republicans win, because we need to stand for principle. We need to stop the out-of-control spending and debt, and we need to unleash small businesses and entrepreneurs to create jobs and to get America working again. Ted, you've got a great celebration coming tomorrow night, but very soon there's some serious work ahead of you. The president yep. has left this place in a mess. Yes. Sir. The, the Benghazi attack and everything that's coming out on that is extremely serious. Uh, fast and Furious, yep. the, the corruption of our bankruptcy courts, all of that is leaving a real mess for you and the other fine senators that are coming in with you, hopefully Josh Mandel from Ohio, and um, we're going to hopefully see a lot of change come about as a result of sending people like you to Washington. So, what can you say to our voters now who may not have gotten out to vote yet, right. and we're going to put this up first thing in the morning and Excellent. let people see this. but. Uh, what do you have to say to our voters out here in Texas? Well, let me say two things. Number one, at this stage, the TV ads don't matter, the radio ads don't matter, the mail doesn't matter. None of the polls or pundits matter. What matters is turnout. What matters is who shows up on Tuesday, November 6th on Election Day. I would urge every conservative who watches this, number one, if you haven't voted, please, please, please come out and vote today, Tuesday, November 6th. And number two, bring 10 of your friends. If conservatives show up to vote today, we're going to win today. If liberals show up to vote, they will win. It's all about turnout, and it's you directly with your friends, with your family, with your coworkers, with your neighbors that can make the difference. Number two, I am convinced that this election, we're going to see a tremendous outcome. That at the end of the day today, we are going to defeat Barack Obama. Mitt Romney will be elected the next president of the United States. And we're going to retire Harry Reid as majority leader of the Senate. Now, if that's right, if that's what happens, then you're exactly right, Bob. That's when the hard work really starts. That's when we've got to roll our sleeves up and go to Washington and do the work to solve these problems, to turn around the out-of-control spending, the out-of-control debt, to stop the crushing regulations that are killing small businesses and destroying jobs. Texans and Americans, they aren't looking for politicians of either party. Go to Washington and give speeches. 
They're looking for leaders to fix the problems, to get back to common sense conservative principles, to living within our means, to not bankrupting the country, and to getting small businesses thriving again so the 23 million Americans who are struggling to find work can get back to work. If I'm elected tomorrow to the U.S. Senate, you have my word I will fight every day in the U.S. Senate to turn around our out of control spending and debt and to stand up and fight for small businesses, for entrepreneurs, to create jobs and to get America working again. Well, Ted, I think Texas GOP voters are ready to call this election for Ted Cruz. And uh, we believe that you're going to go there and we're going to hold you to those commitments. Absolutely. And uh, look forward to you doing a great job for us in Washington, D.C. Well, thank you, Bob, and thank you for everything you do.